Hey guys, <clears throat> what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So today I'm gonna to give you a couple tips about booking hostels. So I will say the first thing that you need to do is you need to read the reviews. Kids or people or whatever like you are going there and you need to be able to understand a smart review. So. I want you to read through 10 reviews. If all 10 are positive, cool, book it if it's what you like. If five are bad, you should probably stay away from this hostel. Usually if 50% of the people hate it, that means 50% of the people are just willing to deal with the circumstance that they were left in. Next. <clears throat> If the hostel says 18 or 20 bucks or 25 bucks or whatever, that may very, very well true. The thing is, if you don't book right then, it could go up. Also, if it says 18, 20 bucks, that may very well and most likely is not the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday price. From what I've learned is Saturday seems to be the highest, Sunday kind of drops back down, but Friday is also up there too. So I just booked some hostels in, it was uh, Amsterdam. And it was 18 bucks during the week, but the weekend price for one day was 56 bucks. And I was like, what the hell? So always, always, always pay attention to that. The next thing is also, when you're looking through the reviews, I want you to pay attention to um, charging capabilities as far as like uh, being able to plug in your phone. Many hostels will have like one plug for like 25 people in a room and that is extremely stressful. Not only can you not get your device charged, but if your phone's dead or whatever, you can't click onto the Wi-Fi. Do they have Wi-Fi? Is the Wi-Fi reliable? Do they have personal computers? If they don't have a lot of stations for plugging your device in. So make sure you check all those things as well as like the bathrooms and the capabilities uh, as far as being able to cook your food. Are you gonna go shopping and are they only gonna have a microwave but you bought a steak? Like you're not gonna cook your steak in a microwave. So pay attention to the reviews. They're gonna tell you a ton of information. Take it with a grain of salt if a couple people are complaining because Let's just be honest, with customer service, you cannot please everybody. So that's my few tips for hostels when booking hostels. I hope that actually helped you. Oh, one more final tip. Pay attention to where it's located in retrospect to where you're staying. If the hostel says 0.8 miles from the city center, check what city center. Is it the city center you're going to? Is it a different city center? What is it? Also. Is it near a train station if it's not near where you're wanting to be? Because a lot of the times the $12 and $16 hostels that you're gonna find are no fucking where near where you're wanting to hang out. Not only was that a huge problem when I went to Ireland, but when I went to Ireland, it was like, yeah, it's blah, blah, you know, one or one mile from the city center. I kid you not. It was like a three hour, six transfer bus ride, $42 later, one way to get to the city center in Dublin. It was a freaking nightmare. So always pay attention to where it's located in retrospect to where you're wanting to go. If you guys like my videos, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Also go check out our, uh, I'll put the link in our blog to our blog below. We're getting ready to go on a month long trick a trip in Western Europe. So we're going to cover all of Western Europe in 30 days. And also uh, check out our Facebook group. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk today. My Facebook group or our Facebook group of awesome travelers at World Travelers. And come join us there and share your experiences. You guys have a beautiful day and remember to create a life worth remembering. Peace.